Hello, it's me again for this fifth part of the My Birthday Update video. And, and my God, it's still hot out there and muggy. Yep. And now we made it through the previous update video, uh, birthday update for showing you the uh, other formats like DVDs, Laserdisc, and CED video discs. Now I got here like books category or magazines. Let's start with the read along Sesame Street read along book, A Cookie Monster and the Cookie Tree, part of the Sesame Street read along book series, released in 1981. Too bad it's not a Bona Vista read along series. I wish it was. Boy, I love the original Sesame Street characters. Elmo didn't make his debut till 1985 for the uh, when he was in Fall That Bird. That's a Sesame Street record. Doesn't have any songs after the story. And one of my other update videos I showed you, like one of the Sesame Street read-alongs I got, and here is the story of Jonah, like Joan of Arc. I mean, like Jonah and the Whale, whatever. Published in 1981 by Golden Press. It's in a paperback. This is pretty good. The story of Jonah. And here's the Sesame Street hardcover book of Special Delivery. Published in 1980. From the Sesame Street and Golden Press book. That's got, got to be from Golden Book. Hello, Bert and Betty Lou. I think it's Prairie Dawn. And here's something special I got off on eBay. The bio autobiography of lovely Janet McDonald. Written, uh, made by Sharon Rich. And did you know Sharon Rich was just the owner of the, the McInerney fan club about Jeanette McDonald Nelsonetti. He's been in that club since 1977. When I first met her was back in 2014 in Bryant Park, Manhattan on June 7th. She was a truly a Jeanette Nelson fan. In her favorite movie she loves was Made Time. I told her I liked Smiling Sue was the only one I was been watching. And this, and this biography of this book was got to be published, made by Bell Harbor Press, New York. And this was released in 2004. At the time, I was only uh, 19 or 20 years old, when they still have VHS rental stores. This is a book of like the relationship of Jeanette McDonald with her Nelson Eddy to Jean Raymond. And to her siblings, like one of her sisters, like Blossom Rock, known as Marie Blake. Someone must have put these things in writing. I don't know. But hey, this is a good vintage book. Here's what Jeanette looks like playing a piano. She's a true sweetheart and she's not a loser. This is a picture of, of Jeanette and Marie Chivaye before she was a team with Nelson Eddy. This is very interesting. This is from The Married Widow with, with Jeanette and Marie Chivaye. This is, this is when she was with Nelson Eddy. And you know, truth, truthfully to say, Jeanette McDonald wanted to marry Nelson Eddy, but Louis B. Mayer of the, of the NGM prevent them from doing that. They, they don't want to disappoint the fans. That's why she ended up marrying Jean Raymond by Louis B. Mayer. This is the picture photo from Rose Marie, and the other picture we just saw was from Naughty Marietta singing A Sweet Mystery of Life. May Times is just from one of her favorite movies in her career. Also, when I was in the book uh, signing in 2014, I got a book about Sweethearts, the 2014 edition. Started it in the 70s, late 70s. This is on the set of I Marry an Angel, and this is her husband, Gene Raymond, when he was in the service. The only one movie they did with, with Jeanette and Gene Raymond was Smiling Through in 1941. This is a pretty good book. Yep. They didn't release her movies on DVD, not until 2012 or, or, 
or a eleven in one of the Warner Vintage Vault Warner the Warner Brothers uh the Vault series. The ones are locked up in the vault. Mm-hmm. Good old Sharon Rich. Now I got a couple of something I got in the mail on my birthday. Hold on. And here's the Mac and Eddie Today, issue 72, from the cover from their movie New Moon, published in 2016. The, and you know, 2017 was the 40th anniversary of the Mac and Eddie Club, started in 1977. During at the time, May time was only 80 years old. And, and here's lovely Nelson. When I first got into a Jeanette McDonald Nelson Eddy game, it was in 2013, late 13 going on the 14, when I liked him singing as Willie the Whale. Boy, this is the book of sweethearts I have from the 2014 release. Yeah, 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 yeah. Ooh, Hold on. I want to apologize about that. Someone was texting me. And now here's the last Mac. Here's another one. Another Mac and Eddie magazine, issued 74. I've been collecting these magazines since 2016 and 17. I bought them off on eBay. This is the photo picture from their movie New Moon in 1940. The sixth film in the series. This is on the set of Sweethearts in 1938. In Technicolor. Ray Bulger and Frank Morgan co-starred the one from The Wizard of Oz. Nelson looks beautiful in the suits. Thanks for the memory. That's the Bob of, uh, phrase. Thanks for the memories. That he first sang that in the big broadcast. as That is like one of his theme songs. Okay, I guess that wraps it up for the Mac and Eddie, uh items or whatever like my books i'll see you for the finale for part six of my birthday update and i'll um try to comment subscribe or ring a bell if you like any of my birthday update videos just take care and i'll see you later for the for the the final one bye